so this is the third video in the playlist that deals with the cosine rule. Um, now this is really uh, the type of questions that you're going to get at um, oh, round about sort of A, A grade type at GCSE or high school maths. Um, they are fairly straightforward but this particular question deals with a triangle which you're given three sides of. Okay, so you're told this is 15 uh, centimetres, this is 12 centimetres and this is 10. And what you're asked to do is to calculate this angle here. Okay, well I'm going to call this angle here, they called it X, I'm actually going to call it A. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because it fits in very neatly with the way that the uh, formula is given on the formula sheet which is at the front of the GCSE uh, paper. Um, however, one of the things you need to be aware of is that it's normally given to you as a squared equals b squared uh, plus c squared minus 2bc cosine a and that's the way it's normally given. Well that's not really very useful to you because actually you're looking for this value which means you're going to have to do a little bit of um, manipulating of the formula to be able to to get this on its own. Now if you look at the previous video, it's actually the, no the previous but one, it's actually the introduction to the cosine rule. It'll show you how you can go from that to the value of cosine a is b squared plus c squared minus a squared divided by 2bc. Okay, so um, that you, you can either remember it or you can do the, the deriving, which if you look at the, uh, the intro to the cosine rule, it'll show you on there. Okay, what we need to do with this is just make sure that we've got all the correct bits of information because we're looking to get this value A here, cosine A. Well, opposite capital A is small a, so this would be small a, and then either side of capital A, I'm going to call it length b and length c. Okay, and then I would just feed this information in, and I've got b, which is 12 squared, plus c, which is 10 squared, minus a, which is 15 squared. I'm going to divide that by 2 times b, which is 12, times c, which is 10. Okay, and you just need to feed that into a calculator. It will take a little bit of time and do really be careful about the way you put this information into a calculator. Um, you can use the um, fraction function on most scientific calculators and that will allow you to do that. But do be very careful about how you put it in because you're looking for a reasonable answer and the answer you're going to get out of this is 19 over 240. It's probably not that reasonable really. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look anything like an angle and that's because that is the value of cosine a. So just be really careful that you've got the value of cosine a, you need to get the value of a itself. So just use inverse trigonometry. So you're looking to feed into your calculator, if I just write it here, cos the minus one brackets 19 over 240. If you're not sure about that then have a look at um, Soccer Toa which is one of the um, playlists on the channel and that'll give you some idea as to why you use inverse trigonometry because what we've got here is the value of the cosine not the value of the angle. However if you feed that in you'll get the value of the angle which in this particular case is 85.4 degrees and that's to three significant figures. So also do be aware that sometimes with these questions they do ask you to use a couple of decimal places or significant figures or something like that and it does point towards using a calculator and working through the formula. Um, I hope that's okay for you. Uh, it is a fairly high level question so please do take your time Add a comment below, I'll always come back to you. Please also subscribe to the site and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.